In this video, you are going to learn about the three best screen recorder apps on the market and how they can benefit you when you're making your own videos. Welcome to Underwater, the channel to make creators one click at a time. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Also, stick around until the end to find out the bonus tip to get more YouTube subscribers, who is the creator of the week, and the bloopers. Without any further ado, let's go wander. A screen recording application can help you to improve your game dramatically. This technology allows your audience to visually follow your instructions since they can see exactly what's on your cell phone screen or your computer. Number three screen recorder app, V-Recorder. V-Recorder is a stable recorder slash game recorder slash video recorder and also a powerful all-in-one video editor app. For those of you who don't know, the V on V-Recorder stands for Video Show, which is the creator team of the Video Show app with over 500 million users. If you are not familiar with Video Show, I will leave a link in the description box below for you to check it out. And this is one of the advantages of V-Recorder. V-Recorder will allow you to record your game while you're playing it, capture the screen with one touch, and edit with filters and effects and music all of your videos. And if you are a VIP user, you can have the experience of recording all your videos without the watermark in it. Let's see how it works. So this is basically how V-Recorder works. In the main screen, you're gonna have your two libraries and you're gonna have two settings. The first one is for your videos. And obviously it's where you're gonna have all the videos that you previously recorded with your app. The second one is for the pictures. I don't have anything on, on in, in any of these two because I used the app uh, before and I have better results with all the apps that I'm gonna show later on. But these are your two libraries, followed by the um, editing uh, settings. So in here, you can edit your videos, you can trim it, <clears throat> excuse me, you can compress your video, convert it into MP3, crop it, and do the GIF. So this is the, the part of the app, and as you can see, it has three VIP, on the trimming and the compress, and on the cropping part of the, of the application, which are complement for people that are doing content on the go. Sometimes you don't have time to edit your video, so you just want to trim it, but you can't. You're going to have to go through the whole editing process with this application. Followed by the uh, uh, editing settings, you get the settings for uh, how the app works. So the video settings are at the first one. You're going to choose from here if you want an auto orientation, if you want portrait of you, or if you want landscape. I always keep it on landscape and it's better for people who do gaming. The second one is going to be the video resolution. The video resolution is all the way up to 720 because I'm not going to pay for uh, this application just to have the 1080p or 2K. If you're looking for a more quality videos, you can do that. The application that I'm using to record my video is not this one. That's why I'm uh, able to show you in this application while I'm using another application to record the video at the same time. Video quality is standard up to uh, 12 megabits per second, same as the uh, frame per second. It's all the way up to 60. You can uh, downgrade it to 50, 40. I always keep it at 60 frame uh, per second. After that, you have your, uh, the uh, normal stop that happens with some apps, so you can use that part of the application for that. Also, the video location tells you where your video are going to go on your phone after you're done recording your video. Uh, recording audio, you want to turn that on so you are able to record any audio when you're doing the screen recording. Depending on the phone that you're using, if it's an Android that is less than the 10 Plus and the 10S, you are not going to be able to record internal audio with this application. It has nothing to do with the application, it's just that Samsung doesn't allow it or Android doesn't allow it. After that, you have the watermark, you need to pay for the, uh, you need the pay version in order to avoid having a watermark. And um, it's gonna cost you $11.99 or $89.99 uh, per year, whatever you think is best for you. The downside of this app, besides the amount of ads, is that the quality of the video on the free version doesn't come close to our next two apps on the list. The number two screen recorder app, MobiZen. MobiZen is one of the most easy to use convenient screen recorder that allows you to record, capture, and edit your cell phone videos in both Android and iPhone. This screen recorder app allows you to record in full HD with the highest quality supplied by 1080p 
a resolution of 12 megabits per second and a quality up to 60 frames per second. Let's see how MobiZen works. The MobiZen application works a little bit similar to the other ones. For example, you have your video library, as soon as you open the app, you have your uh, picture libraries and you have your settings. What you don't have in this one is the settings for the editing right on the main screen. So if you hit your video library, it's gonna show you all the videos that you have in there. I think I have one or two. And then followed by the uh, uh, pictures library. Since I don't have any pictures, I get the uh, gray guy there with the hat. And after that, you have the settings for how you wanna uh, record your videos. The first one, again, is gonna be video setting. You're gonna set your resolution. And as you can see, I'm all the way up to 1440, which is 2K in this app on the free version. You can choose depending on uh, the memory of your phone or how you want to record your videos to so downgrade it to 1080p, 720. I'm guessing that you want it to have it and uh, you want it to have it up to 1480p. Also, depending which application if you're doing, let's say that you're doing your videos, you're editing your videos on your phone, like I do, right? I use KineMaster to edit uh, my videos, or some part of my videos. So if I use anything more than uh, 1480p, it's not gonna be compatible with uh, KineMaster. So you wanna be very careful with uh, the screen recorder that you do, because the last thing that you want to do is record something for, uh, let's say one hour, and then just to find out that you're not gonna be able to edit that on the platform that you or the software that you're using to edit your video. So you wanna be mindful of that. And for quality, it's all the way up to 24, which is more than the 12 uh, megabits per second that the other apps offers. And uh, for your frame per second, you can go all the way up to uh, 60 frames per second. So after that, you have green recording mode and sound. Sound is very important. Like I said uh, before, you wanna make sure that Anything that you're recording on your app uh, that you have the audio in it, you want to make sure because sometimes you just plug in your microphone. You you know you go through whatever you have to go through explaining your uh, your audience your video just to find out that there's no audio. So you want to make sure that you uh, are recording audio at all time. My suggestion to you, if you create a lot of content, make sure that you rename the uh, the storage so that way when you are editing your videos, you can call upon them by the name and by typing the name rather than by going out of the application into your library, library and trying to find out which video you already recorded. Although the quality of the video is very high, even on the free version, the amount of art sometimes makes it like a little bit annoying for you to work with the app, especially if you're working on the go and need to get more content out as soon as possible. And the number one screen recorder app, AZ. I truly don't know of any product that honor its name more than AZ Recorder. AZ Recorder is a stable high quality screen recorder that helps you record smooth and clear screen videos. Let's see how it works. Okay, so this is how AZ Screen Recorder works. So we go in there, straight up, it takes us right to the main uh, screen, which you have your settings followed by your video library. And as you can see, I use, uh, AC recorder very often and followed by your picture library. I don't have any pictures in there. So we go back to settings and uh, the first part of the setting is gonna be the configuration. I already have it up to 2560 by 1440p, which is the highest resolutions that they have. Also, uh, it's followed by the frame rate per second is all the way up to 60 and the, uh, the megabits uh, per second is all the way to 24 which uh, differs from the third, uh, the number three app on this list. The second one, you can go all the way, uh, Mobi, uh, Mobisin, you can go all the way to 24 uh, megabits per second, just like you can do in this uh, app. And here you have your uh, orientation, how you wanna shoot your um, uh, screen recording, if you want a last landscape, or if you want a portrait, or if you want an auto. Like I said before, I like it to be on landscape especially for people that uh, do video games that is very beneficial to them. You have a time-lapse video, which you cannot do in any of the two other application, recording audio. And as you can see right here, the internal audio only from Android 10 Plus can be recorded. Also, you have your control options where you can uh, hide your uh, uh, recording window 
or you can have it present during uh, your video. You want it to have it off. The magic button is the button that you can see when you're moving across the screen. Uh, I always keep it off. I don't like it on the way. And uh, also you have the menu for your countdown, stop uh, options. The stop option is what's gonna give you a notification of the video that you previously recorded. It comes up on the screen as soon as you hit stop, which is a very uh, useful tool for me because that means that I don't have to get out of the application, go into my library and find a video to see what, what the video uh, looks like. And here also you have one of my favorite features of this application. You, you, you are able to put not only your watermark, but you can, uh, you are able to put a logo. I'm an old fashioned guy. I like to have the logo of my, uh, uh, of my videos on it all the time. So in this particular case for this video, I just did the uh, uh, share, like, and subscribe. The good part of this is that you can have a 3D logo, you can move it and place it wherever you want without the necessity of editing your video completely. This is good for people that do content on the go. You're a person that travels from one place to the other. That would allow you, if you have your logo on your application library, to use it for your videos. So you're gonna let your audience know that it's you. All right, so let's take it out of the screen right now. And uh, in here, an image, it shows you the, uh, the place on your phone where your uh, recordings are gonna go. This application is fantastic. Um, uh, it's one of the most uh, useful tool. As you can see, the resolution of the application is very great, superior to the other two applications that we used. And even when you are using the uh, free version, you only get one ad at the end of the video that you record after you watch it. If you don't watch, let's say that you're recording a, uh, your screen. You record your screen for 10 minutes, you're done with that. If you watch that video at the end of the video, that's when you're gonna get an, uh, I think it's a 10 seconds ad. And a bonus tip of the week to increase your subscribers, consistency. I talked about this in a previous video. You can find more information on the card up here, but it's also very important to remember that if you are not consistent with your videos, someone else will. And the creator of this week is Teachers Tech. Even though his YouTube style is not among my favorite, the information he provides on his videos is very valuable for new and professional creators alike. I will leave the link to his channel on the description box below. And the honorable mention for this week the book club life she's a fellow creator i met during a live vid iq workshop the link to her channel is also in the description box below and after all that information now it's time for you let me know in the description box below if you're planning on trying the v recorder or if you are looking for a more powerful screen recorder like ac comment on the description box below enjoy the bloopers and i'll see you next time on the water how dare you the number two screen the number two screen recorder app MobiZen is one of the most easy to use. In this video, you are going to learn about the three. <clears throat> In this video, you are going to learn about the.